Hello guys, I'm going to do another tomato taste test. This one is the Southern Night Tomato. This is supposed to be a determinant tomato where they all are supposed to ripen at the same time. Not. <laughs> at least it hasn't happened so far. This is the first ripe one. Maybe the other ones will be all ripening in the next couple of days. Um, this says that it's a Russian heirloom. Uh, name refers to pitch black nights in southern regions of Russia. Um, it's a potato leaf. Supposed to be 12 to 16 ounce purple brown beefsteak fruits with some green shoulders. That is true. I see the green shoulders. Very bold, rich, complex flavors. Good choice for sandwiches, salads, sauce. And it says good disease resistant. Um, I guess that's true. I haven't really had any problems with it. Oh, I said determinant. This is not a determinant. I'm sorry. This is an indeterminate. Duh. Read. Read is fundamental. All right. Let's see the size on this thing first. I didn't do that first just to, to know. So, you zeroed. Wrote out. And this says this is eight ounces, so we're a good bit to shy away from that. What it say, twelve? I'm not there. Okay. So let's taste it. Okay. It's a pretty tomato, very pretty, but typical of the purplish tomatoes with the green shoulders. Um, looks like it was starting to think about splitting there or cracking there. That's just me, but not too bad. So let's cut this open. All right, more reddish in the inside to me. This is more of the brownish kind of tomatoes, I think. Let's see what it tastes like. A little bit. That's ink, guys. That's not blood. <laughs> I just looked at that like, ugh, that kind of looks ugly, but alright. Okay, let's see. That's good. Oops. Sorry, hit the camera. <laughs> That's good. Some sweet, some acidic. I feel like it's a good balance. It's pretty good. I need to find out if anybody knows. You know how when you do, I don't know, I'm thinking about something like certain taste tests and they give you something to clean your palate. I need to know what it is to clean my palate from eating different tomatoes. Because I've done a couple of tomato taste tests today, but it's not bland. <laughs> And some other ones were. This is pretty good. I like this tomato. Um, and it sat on pretty well. Um, I'm in zone 7B. And it has set on in the very beginning and in the middle. And now it's starting to set on the top. And we're doing an average of 90 degrees now. So it has set on pretty well for me. It may be on the list of next year's but I have to save room for new varieties so you never know if it'll make it or not it's good but it's not like a wow and like I said I think I've eaten too many tomatoes today this may be my last one for the day 
All right, guys. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.